There is a world of difference between understanding hospice and feeling hospice. I didn't really feel hospice until it was my own father. Standing on the edge of the great unknown. No idea what lies. Once mother got settled in, she started Here doing better. She started darkness. eating and uh, she was able to converse with us. She responded really well to someone um, being kind to her uh, and listening to her and explaining things to her, not just coming in to do a, a, a procedure. Not by sight, press on. We came directly by ambulance over here from Centennial. And as soon as we got here, there was a, uh, a cello player from uh, the symphony that came in the room. Then later on, there was a uh, massage therapist. Gave her a massage, so that was the first day. Press on. For my family, a live hospice took care of my husband, who was my heart from the volunteers that come in here to the animals, the pets, the little cat, the little gray kitty Pepper who comes in on her little leash every week. That's not a hospital setting. That's more of a home where you have your pets and your friends and your things come in, and that's what it was. It allows the family to enjoy reality and the reality, you know, and enjoy what you have. I thought that I was going to be able to handle this on my own. I, I thought, I can, I can do this, I can get through this. My husband and a couple of good friends finally told me, they said, Liz, why don't you go talk to one of their grief counselors? Just go in, just one time. Best thing I ever did. Keep on walking toward the light, press on. Though your dreams are barely breathing, and your reasons for believing seem long. Camp Evergreen is a place for children who have lost loved ones, um, learning how to accept the loss with some superb adults who know how to work with children in very compromising or vulnerable situations in their lives. For me, that's what I think Beyonce Bay got. When I got there, I saw other kids my age and it made me feel that I wasn't the only one, really. Down the road that lies before you press on. Keep on walking toward the light, press on. Though your dreams are barely breathing, and your reasons for believing seem long gone. Even though we're maybe toward the end of someone's life, it can often be the richest and most meaningful and most fulfilling part of someone's life, and that's the goal. Down the road that lies before you, press on. I think to be with somebody when they're born and when they die, uh, that's, that's a privilege. Those are two major events and uh, they're both a celebration. When we drive by here now, we don't say that's where, they call him Bobo, that's where Bobo died. We say that's where Bobo got his wings because that's the day Bo got his wings. Press on. Press on.